Welcome to Baltimore's Tomorrow. The Red Line's preferred alternative promises convenient east-west rail travel that quickly gets you to where you want to go. This 14-mile route unites city and suburb, stretching from Woodlawn in western Baltimore County to Hopkins Bayview on the city's eastern edge and making key stops along the way. The Red Line provides easy connections to park and ride lots, mark rail stations to Washington and Aberdeen Proving Ground, and to the city's light rail and metro lines. Strategically placed stops along the route will spur economic growth in older neighborhoods. The Red Line will get people quickly to sports and cultural events and to popular dining and entertainment spots. It's sure to become the preferred way to reach major medical and education centers along this east-west route. And it offers people working for major employers an excellent alternative to frustrating and expensive car commutes on crowded streets. For people living or working in West Baltimore and Woodlawn, the Red Line offers exciting travel options starting at the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, a major employer, and continuing on to Security Square Mall that in the future could include more shops and apartments similar to Hunt Valley Mall and its light rail station. Or Security Square could resemble multi-purpose transit stations in Los Angeles, Dallas and Portland. It then proceeds to Social Security Headquarters in Woodlawn an important federal complex with 13,000 workers who could benefit from having another commuting option, alleviating some of the contributing traffic congestion for residents. Then the road continues eastward. From the I-70 park and ride lot, the red line goes underground, traveling beneath Cook's Lane, then resurfaces on Edmondson Avenue at street level. The I-70 Park and Ride Station, situated just west of Ingleside Avenue, will intercept commuters coming from the west, giving them an alternative to slow, crowded streets and helping to reduce rush hour traffic on Cooks Lane and Edmondson Avenue. Station architecture is currently being developed with community input to create safe, secure, and well-lit areas that will establish visual landmarks for neighborhoods. As the train glides into the station, passengers can easily walk directly onto these sleek light rail cars. Upon leaving the park and ride lot, the red line passes over Ingleside Avenue and through an area that could be converted to greening, open space, or transit-oriented development after existing pavement has been removed from the obsolete I-70 stub and interchange. It then proceeds into the tunnel under Cook's Lane a narrow, steep roadway. Plus, the twin tunnels will accelerate light rail travel time. When the train re-emerges on the surface of Edmondson Avenue, the tracks are safely contained in a dedicated median that separates the red line from car and truck traffic, allowing for a pedestrian-friendly avenue. In addition to the red line, there will be two traffic lanes in each direction. This realignment also creates an opportunity to improve roadway landscaping and construct new sidewalks along Edmondson Avenue. There will also be other improvements for pedestrians, such as safer crosswalks and better lighting. The Edmondson Village Station will serve over 10 neighborhoods. Their proximity to the Red Line will allow a direct connection to Edmondson Village Shopping Center, a longtime anchor of the community, by allowing quick and easy travel to this historic shopping center. A station in this location will also serve Edmondson West Side High School, a renovated Pratt Library, and the new Uplands community currently under development. 
The red line is a convenient way to reach workplaces, churches, medical offices, schools, and entertainment sites. By placing light rail trains in a green median, Edmonton Avenue will become community friendly with two travel lanes in each direction and some full-time parking for residents, even during rush hour, in newly created curbside lanes for parking on both sides of the street. There will also be designated left turn lanes along Edmondson Avenue. The next red line stop is at Allendale. This will be a neighborhood walk-up station that serves people in nearby communities. Neighborhood walk-up stations such as Allendale spur retail development and strengthen the surrounding communities. They give both young and old the mobility they need to reach more destinations. Once the red line crosses over Hilton Parkway, it crosses the tree-covered Gwynn's Falls Park on a new bridge. And the next neighborhood walk-up destination, Rosemont Station, connects several residential neighborhoods to the Baltimore Red Line. The station could serve as a catalyst for small-scale redevelopment. The Rosemont Station will also be conveniently located near the Baltimore Red Line Operations and Maintenance Facility, which will become an employment hub. After the Rosemont Station, two more stops conclude the Red Line's West Side Story, a key transfer point at the West Baltimore Mark and Harlem Park. Both stations will be built in the center of Route 40. With the addition of the Red Line, the West Baltimore Mark Station will become a transit hub, creating a connection for residents, commuters, and tourists to and from Baltimore City. Updates to the existing Mark Station will include expanded parking lots, ADA accessibility, and station enhancements. The additional parking will keep commuters from parking on neighborhood streets and create the space needed for future transit-oriented development. West Baltimore residents have plans for revitalizing this area, such as turning the old ice house into commercial and retail shops. The red line then leaves its West Baltimore Mark Station and continues along the lower level median of US 40 to a neighborhood walk-up station located between Calhoun and Cary Streets that will serve Harlem Park, Franklin Square, and other historic West Baltimore neighborhoods. At this station, area residents can take elevators or stairs to reach or leave the passenger platforms. Ahead lies a red line stop near Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard and Baltimore Street. Upon leaving Harlem Park, the red line enters a tunnel which allows fast, reliable operation through the region's heart. With more than 50,000 daily riders, the red line will mean less downtown congestion and vastly improved mobility for area residents. The Red Line's Poppleton Station will serve workers at UMB's expanding biopark, residents living in the developing Poppleton community, as well as residents in historic Southwest Baltimore neighborhoods such as Holland's Market, Berry Circle, and Pigtown. The station will also serve the west end of the University of Maryland's medical campus. In addition to improving mobility, Light rail transit is environmentally friendly, since rail transit emits less pollution than cars and trucks. Once trains start running, new jobs will be generated mainly in the new office buildings, stores, and other development around red line transit stations. The next underground station at Howard and Lombard also serves the extensive University of Maryland Medical Center, the University of Maryland's eight professional schools, and the first Marina Arena which is under consideration for redevelopment. 
Here is an underground view of a red line train approaching the Howard Street station. It's a simple walk from the platform to escalators that take you to Howard and Lombard Streets. A central light rail line stop directly across the street offers connections to Hunt Valley, the airport, Amtrak, and Mark. Next up, the Inner Harbor Station. The Inner Harbor Station will provide an inexpensive travel option to downtown Baltimore office complexes, the employment center of the city, as well as the Inner Harbor for entertainment and tourism. It will also serve as a key connection point for Baltimore rail riders. You can seamlessly transfer from the Red Line to the Green Line Metro subway by means of a pedestrian tunnel. Both the Howard Street and Inner Harbor stations are convenient to office buildings, restaurants, and hotels. As the Red Line leaves the subterranean downtown station, it passes underneath Jones Falls and President Street. With the tracks about 60 feet underground, the trains quietly travel under the Reginald F. Lewis African American History Museum and Little Italy. Then the tracks turn under Fleet Street to reach our next underground station, Harbor East. This lively harbor side setting already is home to hotels, business towers, popular restaurants of Little Italy and Harbor East, movies and high-rise condos, and housing developments such as Perkins Homes and Auburn Hall Square. The Red Line then resumes its eastward route, traveling beneath busy Fleet Street towards its next stop, the Fells Point Station, at the foot of a redeveloped Broadway market, planned as a trendy mix of shops and residences centered around this historic market. The station will connect residents of this historic maritime neighborhood to jobs and leisure activities. It will serve as a vital travel link for the Broadway area's growing Spanish-speaking community. And it will provide tourists easy access to Fells Point's eclectic mix of pubs, boutiques, eateries, and festivals without having to search for parking on narrow, cobblestone residential streets. The red line now continues east under Fleet Street. More than 50,000 people a day will use the Red Line, linking them to Mark, the Metro, Light Rail, and MTA buses. After the tracks turn onto Boston Street towards Canton, they remain underground. At Hudson Street, the transit route reappears at street level in front of the American Can Company building, right at the point where Boston Street begins to widen. Note that these tracks are safely contained within a dedicated green median that separates light rail trains from car and truck traffic. Canton's Red Line Station will be located just west of O'Donnell Street near the Can Company. This is known as a neighborhood walk-up station and it will be used primarily by residents living nearby and visitors to the area. It gives young and old the mobility they need to reach destinations around town quickly and inexpensively without a car. Left turn lanes on Boston Street will be permitted at appropriate intersections. One advantage of a ground level transit line placed in a dedicated median is that it calms and diminishes heavy commuter traffic. Boston Street's boulevard character will be maintained with greenery, sidewalks, and lighting. Pedestrians will benefit as well from other amenities, including safer crosswalks. Members of the community will play an important role in planning the overall design and feel of each station. 
The next stop at Canton Crossing and Brewers Hill will serve residents and commuters who work, shop, and play nearby in this growing part of Canton's eastern end. A new park and ride lot on the north side of Boston Street will allow commuters access to the station. As the red line leaves Boston Street at Conklin, the tracks gently turn onto a separate transit way and run next to a Boston O'Donnell Street connector road. The red line passes under O'Donnell Street and proceeds to the Highland Town Greektown Station just south of the Eastern Avenue underpass where an exciting transit-centered development is being planned. This station fills in a gap between Highland Town and Greek Town that will help tie these neighborhoods together. As the red line leaves the old rail corridor, it bends east to approach the Johns Hopkins Bayview Medical Campus and provides a crucial transit link for Bayview's nearby residents. The red line will provide a crucial transit link for Bayview's workers and visitors, and for Baltimore. Bayview Station will serve a busy academic medical center with 4,000 physicians and staff treating 200,000 people each year. There's 5.5 million square feet of research space and growing, spread over 130 acres. With plans to grow this research hub, Hopkins Bayview needs the travel convenience of the Red Line. As the Red Line departs the Johns Hopkins Bayview campus, it approaches a station at the eastern end of the route that is strategically situated to give travelers multiple transit options, MARC trains, MTA buses, and the Red Line. MARC passengers will take an overhead walkway to reach the platform. This station gives a thousand NIH scientists at Bayview access to Washington-bound trains and commuters an easy ride to Fort Meade and Aberdeen Proving Ground. The large parking lot provides commuters coming down I-95 and I-895 the opportunity to park their cars and avoid congested tunnels and downtown streets. It also keeps cars off local streets in East Baltimore. It's an ambitious project that will improve our transportation options. The Red Line, your transportation ticket to a better tomorrow. For further information, visit our website at BaltimoreRedline.com.